Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm David Penley. For the past three weeks, my mother-in-law, Grammy, has been staying with us. She went home yesterday, but she did leave us with a fantastic dessert recipe. She left us her hot fudge pudding cake recipe. The recipe creates a chocolate cake brownie type layer on top, but underneath you're gonna find this river of hot fudge. Now I like to put ice cream in a bowl with my brownie cake and then spoon over the chocolate syrup. It's really out of this world and it's super simple. Thank you, Grammy. If you guys haven't already, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. First step in making Grammy's hot fudge pudding cake is to make the cake batter. Uh, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. We have three quarters of a cup sugar, one cup flour, we have cocoa powder. So I like a dark chocolate flavor. So I'm gonna use a special chocolate, special dark chocolate um, cocoa powder. If you like more of a a uh, milk chocolate flavor, you may want to go with a regular Hershey's cocoa powder. We also have two teaspoons of baking powder. And then last in our dry ingredients, we have a quarter teaspoon of salt. Let's get the dry ingredients combined. All right, we're going to blend in our wet ingredients. We're going to start with a half a cup of whole milk. Then a third of a cup of melted butter. The last wet ingredient we're going to use is one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. All right, we're going to mix this up thoroughly, get it really combined. We're going to put our batter in an eight by eight or nine by nine baking dish. I'm going to take some butter and just run some butter along the dish. All right, so let's pour our batter into our dish. Just gonna push it around, get it all over the bottom of the dish. Smooth it down on the top. For the topping that we're gonna sprinkle on top of our batter, we have some dry ingredients. It's all dry ingredients. We have a half a cup of sugar. We've got a half a cup of brown sugar. And we have more cocoa powder. We've got four tablespoons this time of our cocoa powder. All right. Get these mixed up really well. All right, once you have those mixed up, let's get our batter back. And we're gonna sprinkle our topping all over our cake batter. All right, last step before we throw our hot fudge pudding cake in the oven, we have a one and a quarter cup hot water. We're gonna pour over our batter but we're not gonna mix, we're not gonna stir this water. We're just gonna pour it right on top. All right, our oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna bake our hot fudge pudding cake for about 40 minutes. After baking for 40 minutes, we let our hot fudge pudding cake rest for about 15 minutes. That'll give the cake part time enough to set. Um, all right, Grammy, let's check it out. So about the only way you can serve this is just to get a spoon and we're gonna put the cake, which is like a big fudgy brownie, in the bowl, along with some ice cream, of course. And then you have that huge layer of hot fudge underneath the brownie, the chocolate cake part. That is what you spoon on top of your ice cream and of course you spoon some on top of your chocolate cake. Grammy, I think I did good. That's a wrap on Grammy's hot fudge pudding cake. Thank you, Grammy. If you guys liked the video, do me a favor, give me a like down below. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button over here. If you wanna see some more of my videos, I've got a playlist you can watch here. I'll see you guys next time.